One of the things Jesus did in his life and his ministry that is very, very significant is that he redefined the celebrations of all these feasts. When Jesus was 12, to show again that that is always the first feast, is the feast of the unleavened bread, he went to Jerusalem. And he was at the feast of the unleavened bread, which God said is the first appearance. And you know what Jesus did at that feast? Just like Paul wrote, that this feast must be celebrated with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. That means significantly, since this is the first feast of the year, God is saying, whenever I want you to make the first appearance in the year, something will not hard up. The bread will not be living. Your business can go a wire. There will be an unleavened bread, but God is saying, don't lose sight of the fact that it's still a feast. That means how do you know God is knocking on your door to make the first appearance as far as the year is concerned when you have your first crisis in the year? When the bread is not living, when the dough is not rising. But for many people, that is a time to be sad. But God is saying it's a feast. And in a feast, no one is sad. That means if, if, you're, if, if within the first 10 days of the year, there are humongous challenges you are facing. That's an invitation that your feast has started. That means God is saying, make an appearance. And that is not a time to be holding back. And that's why I said, even when you are appearing, don't appear with a negative mindset. Don't come empty handed. Come loaded. That's not the time to stop praying. That's not the time to stop giving. That's not the time to start. Because look, God is saying, have the attitude of... And the reason why he's saying we should take these things as they come in our stride and like a feast is because head or tail, you won already. You're already more than a conqueror. So you're not trying to conquer anything. God did that for you. He's just trying to say, I need to... Put something in place to seek now and to signify the commencement of your feast of the unleavened bread. So when the bread is not living, don't fret yourself. Rejoice. Because the year just started. 